Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Reaper today. And today we're on Path of Titans. We're on oh another mod review. That's right, boys and girls. And today we are covering this well pretty awesome looking Triceratops species uh, in the game. Uh, this is another pretty awesome mod, I guess. Say a lot of spikes on it though. Well, we could call it Spiky Boy. <laughs> yeah, this thing is pretty spiky all over the freaking place. Don't want to line on his back. <clears throat> that is one thing you don't want to do. And with the crust on his head too. Oh my goodness, that's a big crust. Uh, but we're going to do the typical normal thing. Uh, we're going to see how it drinks, it eats, um, how it runs somewhat, and also collecting ability. And also, you know, see some of his skins and all of its emotes and all that. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. First of all, let's take a drink. Not that thirsty, but yeah. I guess say it's a pretty cool looking uh, dinosaur to have, um, especially if you're a dinosaur fan, massive lover of the dinosaurs. This thing would be cool to have. But with all great things, it's a great thing either. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about now. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice Triceratops to have if you're looking for a somewhat a different species to have on your Singapore world or play on a server. Now, I mean, you would have to make sure you keep an eye out what does the server have and all that. But yes, this is a herbivore, so it does eat plants, which is these plants back to being normal from. The, uh, yes it is, okay. I was hoping not to have to go too, too freaking far to eat some plants. So this takes this big, nice big jaw to crunch down on the plants and just eat the berries off of them. Eh, typical for Triceratops, I guess you could say. I guess say this beast is a wonderful looking beast. Even those little bit of spikes on its tail looks pretty nice. <clears throat> now because we weren't really completely hungry like the parasaur so yeah not expecting much now we have to gather flowers now I'm guessing it's gonna gather with its mouth of course uh, because for one it doesn't have arms so yeah but I like to see how it collects that's a major thing I want to see so as you can see, it does put its the stuff in its mouth, and there we go. And gather this one. Get this one, and there we go. Now, gather flowers. We have to gather flowers. Oh, well, good thing we are still up here. And you know what, guys? What's no not pot not not pause. Let's switch the day to daylight before it says switching mastery on us. So it just uses its front leg to collect it, move forward and collect the uh, flowers or whatever it's collecting. Not bad, <clears throat> to be honest. Not bad at all. And those are mushrooms, they're not flowers. Thank you. Yeah, as you can see, it just collects it by moving one leg forward and then backwards at the same time. So, yeah. Uh, any more flowers? We're just doing this so way we can have it done in a video. But I do like it. I do like how this dinosaur feels. Um, both in its collecting capabilities and, well, uh, picking up capabilities. All right. We well, we almost got all the flowers collected. There's probably at least a couple more left over. There we go. And they're all collected. Now, let's go back down to the beach so that way we can see 
how this dinosaur dude is about to run up stamina. You know what? Let's uh, take a, a seat up here. Let's sit down. Sit. Thank you. Look how cute this thing looks. It's like a puppy dog. Oh, it's such a, a, a beautiful puppy dog with a lot of <laughs> spikes all over its head. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll see how it lays down. And yeah. Okay, I was just making sure there, guys. Um, I know I muted my mic. I turned off the um, button where I can talk and stuff last night, I think it was. Or was it last night? I don't even remember. But I was checking if it was on just in case. This whole time I could be talking and nothing could be coming out. So, uh, that, that has happened to me. Um, and a few videos, I mean like maybe three to four videos, this happened, but nothing majorly that big. Um, it's just, you be having no voice with me. But I was just checking because I know, oof, yeah, I wasn't seeing where I was going. <laughs> but you definitely could tell this dinosaur is, would be a heavy dinosaur, so taking fall damage isn't the best option for it. Well, let's go over here and let's take some look at some of its moves. Or actually, you know what? We're not going to take a look at its moves. We're actually going to look at the skins, then the uh, abilities, and then, well, yeah. First of all, it gets uh, quite a few of these skins, but we have the standard skin on the dinosaur, which. You know, it's black and white with the horns and stuff being like a yellow orange or gray color, uh, I could say. This is more of a black and yellow. Almost like um, Steelers, uh, which is a football team for Pittsburgh or Pennsylvania. Um, so, yeah, this costs 2,000 marks, so keep that warm. It. Next skin is a free skin, but it's a blue and yellow, so. Blue and yellow, blue and yellow, with a, like a green, like a light green color to its head and stuff. Huh. Next one is a uh, little bit of yellow, a little bit of, well, actually no, that's not even yellow. That's orange, with a little bit of black and white. Mmm, even like a darkest, dark orange kind of color towards its feet. But, it still looks pretty cool, it's a free skins. Uh, is it? Yeah, it, I'm guessing it is free. Next skin is with a little bit of orange, black, white, and brown on it, and it's also free. Um, I'm guessing it doesn't cause any marks to get this skin. Hmm. Okay. Next one is again this, uh, well, sort of same colors. Uh, just a little bit more brown as you can see right there with a little bit of black, the orange, and the little bit of white on its front of its legs. And then we have this one with a little bit of white on its face with the orange still, the black, and the brown. Uh, the white is also somewhat on its body with a little bit of a light gray or darkish gray on its feet with the white color. Then this one's still with the orange one there and the black. But also a little bit of the brown as well and the full white legs on both left and right and stripes of white. And then we have this skin which looks like it's a, a blue with yellow and a green face just like uh, this one I think it was. Again all these looks like they cost nothing except that one. And then we got this one right here with a little bit of the yellow and, well, I guess you could say that's like a light gray or something like that. Uh, this one will cost you 2,000 marks. Not too much more colors on it, but it does have some pattern towards its feet and its tail. Then we have this one with a little bit of black and white. Well, black on its head and a little bit of like a brown colors towards its body and all that. Uh, this costs nothing. Then we have this pattern with, with the 
Oop, sorry for that. <laughs> uh, the orange color with the white and a little bit of like the blackish look color towards his body and like a tan brown color towards his feet. That's nothing. Uh, do, 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 see, is there any more after this? Nope. Um, there's this one which has the orange. Holy crap, that is a lot of orange. Uh, black coins head with a little bit of white in the brown. Again, then there's this one with again the orange, the black, and the brown. It looks like it's just repeating itself from the other ones in the above. Yeah, it really does look like it's is definitely 100% repeating itself. So, that's all the skins. And mostly, if you're going to get this dinosaur, only two of them is going to be bought. Uh, but they're very cheap. They're 2,000 marks. Well, cheap as they can get them as, but yeah. This dinosaur is pretty cool looking though. I do like it. Now, majorly, you probably want to know more about its abilities. Even though the skins are more... Oh my gosh. Uh, I guess you could say... Lackluster. Um, I mean, honestly, if you want to put some of those type of skins on your track species like this one, would be my guess. Um, but it has a few attacks right here. It has, uh, what was the standard one? I'm guessing it's that one. Did. <laughs> well, it has a headbutt bleed, a quick attack which also inflicts enemy with bleed, a uh, headbutt venom. A uh, quick attack, which also infects enemy with venom, so you're getting a venom uh, attack, which puts the enemy with poison on them. Or and you also have the bleed, so you could pay a bleed or a venom attack on the enemy team. And then the sharpen horns. Uh, sharpen your horns on the ground increases damage output for 60 seconds. So you're getting 60 seconds of damage output, um, so which is pretty good if you're trying to fight against dinosaurs. And we all know how powerful the standard normal trikes are in the game. They can be pretty deadly. Uh, bone crush. Uh, crushes bone, dis disfiguring the movement of the enemy. So when you crush the bone, the enemy is not going to be as movable. So that's a pretty good ability. If I must say so myself. Then we have stomp. A heavy stomp with front feet must be standing still to use. So you can use a stomp um, stomp ability with your two front feet. But you have to be standing still to be able to use the ability. Then we have herbivore. Uh, able to eat berries and fruit. Uh, moderate food drain. So you get moderate food drain. Then omnivore. Uh, you eat everything that edible is edible, of course. <laughs> Sorry for that, guys. Um, anything that's edible, you could eat. Um, I don't know if you can eat meat, but I, you could try it. I mean, that's something you could try, I guess. But that doesn't look like it has any other kind of like effects like fast food drain and water drain or something like that. But good to note. The hide. Standard hide. Adds a bit of armor and increased HP. So, gain better HP hit points with the standard hide. We got armor plating, increases armor at the cost of speed. Of course, of course you lose speed and you gain the armor to be able to stay in the fight a little bit more longer. Uh, thin hide uh, decreases defense and increase, increases movement speed. So, you're increasing your movement speed but decreasing your defense, which is always a sad thing for a trike. So, that's something for that. Legs charge bleed. Uh, charges <coughs> charge tree tearing through your enemy dealing bleed. So they're charging towards your enemy and you're going to deal bleed when you hit them with this attack. Then we got Volt. Gain ability to jump take less fall damage. So you can actually jump and take less fall damage which is actually pretty cool. Why don't I have that on here then? That is very weird. I don't know why it's not down there, and I don't know why I can't put it down there, but you have two different terror attacks. Tail Slam Venom, uh, which is slams its tail infecting venom, so if you hit something with your tail, 
you're going to infect them with venom. Uh, tail slam bleed slams its tail, infecting bleed. So if you hit something with its tail, you're definitely going to make them bleed and stuff like that. Now, let's look at the or the attacks we have, and we're going to change some of them out so that we can take a more look at the others. That's the normal headbutt, headbutt, hip, headbutt? Oh my gosh, headbutt attack. <laughs> uh, the bite attack. And as you can see, yeah. You can also control your dinosaur, and the charge ability, this is a pretty cool charge ability. And you can disable it. It does have a pretty decent cooldown on it. So do keep that reminded. Now let's see about we gotta come to a stop. And there is the stomp ability. We'll see that again. Boom! And then that's the tail whack. Now let's we'll switch this to tail whack out and see about the other abilities. Okay. For one I don't want that. We have that one, so let's put this one out. And then we'll switch the tail attack. Like that. Now I don't think there's really much very really big differences, but I'm just gonna show you guys uh what each one does and stuff like that. Now I can't show you what effect it does on a enemy dinosaur, but yeah. Again, no more tail attack. I mean headbutt and no normal tail whack. And what's what's this headbutt out for a new last headbutt? Let's go over. And there we go. We got bite. Thank you. And right there, it is sharpen its horns so way you can make them a little more sharper. And get that breeze effect in a lot more faster. But but that's all the abilities. Now we have to take a look at all these things. Yes, I know. Now, we're not trying to do it yet, by but okay. But we're gonna look at all these other guys and stuff like the typical normal other path of time small reviews we usually do. So yeah, tank, be quiet, shop. Okay. <laughs> that one's a little bit uh, funny. Well, funny. No. Hmm. Oh, oh there's two of these. No. It, it's like it's telling you no. No. I don't want to. I don't want to do it, Papa. <laughs> Normal shake, which every dinosaur gets the shake ability. <coughs> and then uh, the eye. And friend recall, so if you're Round and you could call a friend ring. Yeah. Now that is a pretty cool emote. It's stretching. The normal regular one, which you could do like this. Oh, not bad. And that's right there. I like this one. <laughs> it's like it's telling you no, it don't want to. Or if a dinosaur carnivore's coming, you could shake your head like this and try to pervert them to not to attack and then this one is pretty cool too it's like it's stretching its back leg you know some of these emotes are just awesome to have on a dinosaur um you know it's just nice to have some of these cool looking emotes like i said this one right here just because i think the reality is 
trike would definitely do that to a carnivore if they come close at least especially if, if the trike is different in a herd uh, which we all know trikes would be in a herd and stuff like that so yeah that would be nice and along with this one too where it's trying to stretch its back leg now sometimes animals like to stretch I've seen dogs do it uh, definitely have uh, like three different dogs so that's something I, that I know animals definitely likes to do stretch when they wake up from a sleep so if you're like role playing on a server maybe or something like that uh, you could use that ability from after you're done with camp from a, a sleep or something like that and then act like you're stretching after you're waking up from your sleep I mean that's something you, that you could do on a role playing server or whatever you want to do uh, it's up to you whatever you want to do but I think that's going to be it for this uh, dinosaur there guys um, though I got one little news and so forth there hasn't been any updates about any more newer ones coming out yet as I know of um, there is one more mod that I'm going to be doing for the mod reviews for Path of Titans for now uh, but trust me I am definitely going to keep my eye out for newer mods um, that I'm going to want to do I'm not going to do the alien mods uh, simply because I don't think they're necessary to be doing uh, just simply because well, they just look so funky and stuff, and I'd rather look at things that looks a little bit more realistic like this, uh, or creatures that did exist, or even if they didn't, like the the uh, two dragons we covered not too long ago, well, actually it's been a good while back, uh, we've done these two dragons and stuff, but still, I did rest. We have one more mod to do, which I think it's a really nice mod to have. It sounds like a horrifying underwater monster we all know and love. But if you want to know about that, you're just going to have to wait a little bit longer there, guys. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to release that one. But, yeah, that's definitely going to be coming out soon. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like on the video. And subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.